back in the shop once again. Steve Jessup with you. I got a badass build for you today. This one is so easy, quick, and cheap. We are going to make a beer cap clock. That way when 420 rolls around, you know where the fuck you're supposed to be. Right here with me getting fucked up in the shop. Hell yeah. I got some old wood scraps. Corrugated tin, beer caps for the numbers. It's gonna be badass. I'm gonna show you how we do it. First thing you gotta do when you are making a beer cap clock, crack open a cold one, and put it in your I know my rights glass work. This project has started out on the uptick already. Step two, drink half that motherfucker. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. What's great about making these homemade clocks is you can take any shit clock you got laying around the house, take it apart, and rebuild it how you want to. Out of wood, corrugated, whatever the fuck you got. First thing we're gonna do is take apart this clock right here. Get the middle out of it. Take that out. These hands just pop off. Just pull them gently. Oh, we got it. There you go. There's one. Two. Three. I say those, those are important. Come around the back side, got two clips. Stick this screwdriver down in there, pop that out. There it is. That is all you need right there. Probably got five of them in your house right now. Make sure you save these hands, toss that. I gotta admit, it would be badass to make it out of wood, right? Just straight up wood, beer caps. That takes a little bit more time and focus, which I ain't got much of today. I'm going to make mine out of this corrugated tin. It's real thin. It's going to make it easy for this knob to poke through. I'm going to use this other big-ass clock I got to mark out the perfect circle. And cut it out. Let's turn it into a clock. Now we're gonna mark out a spot for the hole in the center and our numbers that go around the edge. Now let's go ahead and drill this hole out for a clock brain that goes on the back. As you can probably see, the curves of the metal. Not letting that post go all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just hammer this flat right here. Now it works good. I just took and bopped that ridge down just a little bit. Took the edge off of it. Now it comes through just like we want it to. Most importantly, that is a dangerous level of beer. You never want to let your beers get Whoa, way down low like that. Go ahead and top that off. Baked out some of my favorite beer caps here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and glue them on with this hot glue gun. Got all my caps glued all the way around. Let's flip it over and put the clock brain through the back. Now let's take and put these hands back on. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Came out so fucking good. You can give that as a gift. Hang it up in the shop. You're never gonna find a clock this badass at the store. It's always this shit over and over again. I've got 12 of these. Take one of them apart and make something this fucking cool right here. You can go with wood. You can use like a fucking badass hub cap, an old saw blade. You can turn anything you want into a clock. Shit, you can fucking drink by this clock when you get up. Whatever time it is, that's the fucking beer you start with and then you just 
drink accordingly. I'll have a flying dog at 10 till Boulevard, tank 7 at 25 after. Really should be called a drinking clock. It is time for me to get the fuck out. I'll see you back in the shop next Friday. Download that Steve Jessup app. That's all you got to do in iTunes or Google Play is search my name, Steve Jessup. Get the app, stay up to date. You'll get everything that we ever do and some secret shit too, y'all. And go to iKnowMyRights.com and click the tour link. Check out where we're going. Coming to you, America. Cheers. I'll see y'all back in the shop right here next Friday. I got shit to do. What's that? Yeah. Have you subscribed? Did you get it? Hit the button. Get it. Get it. <laughs>